Okay, we're synced up. That's amazing. I hope everybody is doing awesome. Super excited to be on the line with you guys here tonight. I am Colin Haskins, and I am director of the GMTSS, and I am joined by the amazing Lee Rader. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Lee Rader, and I'm a Modus Field consultant and an unfranchised owner, just like all of you. I'm super excited to be here tonight with you, Colin, because I don't think we've done a session like this, just the two of us. I don't think so. I think this is our first go around. And, yeah, it's going to be a uh, lot of fun. It is. It's going to be a ton of fun. So as we're getting launched off here tonight uh, in the chat, if you could throw into the chat where you're tuning in from, it's always super exciting to see where everybody's joining us from. For sure. Got everybody filtering in. Hi, Ken. Hi, Carmen. New Hampshire. We got New Brooklyn. York in the house. Brooklyn. Come on. Brooklyn. Bringing it. Love it. Look at everybody. Maine. San Francisco. We've got everybody from everywhere, I feel like. We do. Well, we are super excited tonight, you guys, to talk to you guys about uh, what it takes to set proper goals and building a successful unfranchised business, but also going for master unfranchise owner, which is what our series is all about. This is week one of the next 12 weeks, actually, Lee. So it's amazing. We're through two 290 day sessions so far, but Going still, fast. yeah, but still everyone <laughs> is in a position to win this yeah. race. Isn't that exciting, right? That's what I love about it. It's a, it's a new quarter and there's things that you guys can do right off the bat to get things moving and in action. That's it. That's it. So here we go. So let's start off with a little, uh, you know, a couple shout outs here, Lee. It's always awesome to celebrate successes and, you know, everybody's out moving and shaking. So we're just going to shoot through these fairly quickly. But as you can see, each country has a number of people that are making things happen in some of our top categories. These are all what we call result producing activities. So we're sharing the business system. We're actually adding customers, selling products, adding BVs. Uh, into the business and of course sponsoring new partners into the business uh, in, in order to grow and expand distribution. So Australia making things happen down under. Here we go with Canada. Awesome job Canada. Hong Kong. Hong Kong making things happen. Huge congratulations to everyone in Hong Kong and Malaysia. Malaysia making things happen. BV and customers in Malaysia, like totally rocking it out. That's awesome. Which is super awesome as well. Taiwan. Wow. We got, we got a, a number of people popping off in Taiwan Look at as that. this one loads in. And uh, it's been a, an incredible week there in Taiwan. So way to go in Taiwan. And then we got Singapore. Singapore moving and shaking, making things happen. And then, of course, we have the United States of America. So it's all about staying focused and staying the course, right, Lee? Like uh, Dennis yeah. Franks always taught us. Exactly. Congratulations to everybody on all the leaderboards. It's awesome to see all the countries and everybody taking action. That's it. And here is a snapshot of our worldwide leaderboard. So this is all countries put together, all markets, I should say, put together and who's some of the best of the best making things happen. And this is what I was alluding to, uh, Lee, is that there's plenty of time. You know, we're halfway through this, but there's plenty of time for everybody to continue to ramp up and uh, jump onto this leaderboard. So don't think it's too late. Every week, next week could be your best week ever yeah. and the week after that and so on. And that's why we're continuing this series. It's so true. And it's not too late to inspire others to join in with you. So they can still start even tomorrow or next week. Um, it's not too late to even get started. That's it. Absolutely. So people without goals have no destination is a hundred percent true you guys before you begin you have to identify your why if you don't have a solid why then obstacles are going to get in the way uh life's going to get in the way so uh lee what's your why what's your passion oh my gosh my well my why is my family for sure and you know your why is so important and for some of you i think it can be hard to kind of dig down and figure that out 
it can also change too. So it's good to kind of reevaluate things. And we'll talk about that tonight as well. But um, you know, that's what's going to push you on those days where you're not feeling like doing much or, you know, you, you get those no's and you get those obstacles in your way. It's it, looking at your why is always going to motivate you for sure. Absolutely. So throw your why, throw your why in a couple words. You have to write the whole thing out, but maybe in a couple words, throw it into the chat, comment on Facebook, you guys, for Trinity and I starting with this business 24 years ago. Same thing Lee just said, it was all about the family, uh, being able to spend more time with our five amazing children. And uh, to think when we started, I think the, the oldest was seven, around seven. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, and, then, and then it turns around and here he is 27 years old, something like that. But I mean, he's, I mean, it's unbelievable to think that uh, we, we've, been, we've been blessed. Uh, the business system has been blessed, uh, blessed us with a supplemental income to have an incredible lifestyle, but you got to have a passion. You got to have a drive because without that, you guys, we're going to tell you step by step how to do things in this business. We got an incredible business system, but you got to be in love with what you're doing and why you're doing it. So, you know, one of the most important things we always focus on as new unfranchised owners, or even somebody who's been in the business a little while is reestablishing whatever that why might be like Lee was just saying. And so what's your why, as you can see on the screen here, what's your why? And then what is, I'm going to see if I can, oh yeah, there we go. All right. So what's your why? And then what are your personal goals? Okay. When do you want it? So we got to have a deadline. Yeah. A lot of people don't set the deadline. It's going to say, oh, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if I do this and I'm going to try. And I think, and all, all these disempowering statements, you better be saying some empowering statements in order to make it happen. And you have to determine what you're going to overcome because I don't care who you are, you're putting this business into your life, you're, you're already maybe raising a family, you may already got a full-time job uh, inside the house or outside the house or raising kids full-time job as well, right? But at the end of the day, there's gonna be obstacles that come in our path, but we have to have a strong goal statement. And that's why every single one of you should be using the Getting Started Guide as you're getting people started and on the right track for success. And I love how this maps it out because I don't know about you, but when I started this business, this was something new for me. I actually came from a traditional business background, but then we weren't really taught how to really create goals. So for a lot of people, it can be like, where do, where do I start? You know, how do I do this? And I love that you said, set the date, because that's something that is so important. And don't worry about it being too soon, because I always like to set my date from major event to major event. And then you can always, you know, reevaluate your goals. And even if you're kind of pushing them a little high and, and you, you're afraid you may not get there, like just do it anyway. You're going to do more than you would have done without setting these goals. So the sky's the limit. This is like your chance to really like sit down and write down all those things that, that you want to achieve. Well, as many people know uh, as well, Lee, is that as we're following the Getting Started Guide, it, we, we, all this was created as the unfranchised system. So it, it's less personality dependent or having to be this perfect person, but it's more system driven, which is why a lot of us have become successful because we're really not that talented. But at the end of the day, we just did things over and over and over and over and over and over again. But checking off the box is following the system in order to make things happen. And so in the Getting Started Guide, the other thing we wanted to point out with you guys here tonight, there's some commitment boxes that you should be going through with every single person you're setting up an account with uh, as an unfranchised owner. And, you know, some people, Lee, have the mindset that, well, what if, what if the commitment, what if 12 months or what if putting in, you know, uh, eight to 15 hours a week, let's say, or, or what if investing in a ticket or, or getting education is going to blow somebody out? or deter somebody from joining us. And, and actually the opposite's true. If you're not upfront with people that this is yeah. a business, just like any other traditional business out there, and it's gonna require effort, it's gonna require a systematic plan, and, and we've got the whole system in place, you're actually doing them an injustice because mm -hmm. you're promising them something for nothing, basically. And we know a lot of people out there who do promote uh, different business systems that way, and I would not recommend that because it's no. out of integrity, right, Lee? Exactly. And it's very important to, go, like you said, go through this with them um, and get their commitment, have them actually read it, read it together, check it off. That commitment's huge. And like, honestly, when you read through this, you know, again, coming from a traditional business background, like this is so 
minimal <laughs> when you really think about it, right? 100%, 100%. And the main thing I'm going to point out on here as kind of like the, one of the focal points that you definitely want to make happen, make sure whoever you're working with is tied into not only online trainings and meetings that we have available for you, but we have a lot of in-person things yeah, so uh, that are happening. And you got uh, trainings that are happening probably right in your backyard where you can get people plugged in, they can learn the information, but we also have our leadership school coming up and that's coming up at the beginning of March down in Hollywood, Florida. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. So if I was you and I was new in the business, you were starting people new in the business, make sure they commit to that training. That is basically the only guarantee that if I get them to the training and they don't get it from everybody who's going to be on that stage training, there's not much more Colin and Trinity Haskins can say, you see, that was the leveraging aspect for some 24 year old kids in working this business is we just leverage the training system. So what's going to happen is we have the getting started guide and that flows right into our master on franchise owner program. It's actually a part of the getting started guide towards the back because we stair step people through the system, but just know, that the un, uh, Master on Franchise Owner Program is a structured system that identifies and uh, qualifies what successful on franchise owners are doing or have done in order to be successful. So therefore, you should automatically know if you're checking off the boxes and doing the work, you should expect it to work. Nobody invests a million dollars in a franchise and then doesn't show up to work the next week. It's not going to happen. But, well, first of all, you've invested a million dollars. So you're like, I'm not going to lose that money. I'm not going to lose my house. Most people mortgage your house away in order to make something like that go. But they're buying into the proven system. The exact same thing that we offer everybody is the proven system. But the difference, Lee, is, you know, for basically a thousand dollars, somebody's getting started and they don't have to mortgage the house away. It is a part-time business. So with all the benefits to that, sometimes maybe some people don't treat it as much like they've invested a million dollars, although so it's all a matter of what you're looking for out of the business system, right? Absolutely. And what I love about it too is, I think we can all admit it can be a little overwhelming when we first start our business. And it's like, what, what do I focus on? You know, there's, there's a lot kind of being thrown at a new person. And this is something that they can focus on because this is the basic five, right? It's the fundamentals to building the business. That's right. And ultimately what this slide says is everything is standardized, systemized, uniform to make sure all of us are doing it the same way all across the globe. And again, as long as you do right down here, we're going to focus on what's called the result producing activities and, and uh, in the weekly accountability report. So what's the weekly accountability report? Well, here you go. It's right here. And you can download this. This is a, a paper form that you can download. It's found in support materials uh, in your unfranchise. And it's called the weekly accountability. And within the weekly accountability, what we're focused on are some basic steps. And so what are we working on? We're working on our attitude and knowledge, making sure that we're listening to an audio or a video. And I, I don't know about you, Lee, but I, I, I love listening to the same thing over and over and over again until I like really started to get it because That's I kind of idea. felt like we have so many tools in the toolbox, but mm -hmm. if I'm like all over the place, then how focused am I going to be? So for me, per I'm not saying you can't go to a something else, but I'm just saying like kind of focus in as like 90 day fast track or, it, yeah. or whatever it might be. That's going to uh, like motivate you and or irritate you mm -hmm. into action. I would like listen to, it, and then I start talking to people, Lee, and then stuff would just kind of start coming yeah, out. It comes out yeah. and you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got like, oh my gosh, that sounded pretty good. <laughs> and I, I mean, it's all about creating the habit of doing it as well. Like I, I listen to an audio every day while I'm getting ready for my day. I mean, that's like the perfect time for me to do it first thing in the morning. Um, you know, and we can multitask and do that while you're doing your hair, while you're putting your motives on, or even while you're doing your skincare, you know, just have that audio playing. And if you do any kind of exercise or, you know, commute to work, those are all times where you can have that audio you know, going in, we have so many audios that are free for you guys to listen to. They're all out there. Even YouTube is a great resource for that. Absolutely. Well, and, and, you know, you, you took the words right out of my mouth because every morning when I'm doing my skincare regimen and my motives, <laughs> Lee, I am 100% listening to my audios. Oh, and of course. Sure dialed in, baby. Let's go, right? <laughs> of so course. it is about consistency. And I love that Lee talked about it because it is about defining what are my new success habits going to be. 
It's fascinating how some people think I'm going to start a new business, but I don't need to change my daily routine at all. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, we all know, we, I mean, if we're going to put in 10 hours a week in, into something that we weren't doing before, then I need to designate that time on a daily mm -hmm. basis to get in the habit. And we call them success habits that automatically put us on the freeway uh, of great things to happen. So we're going to identify people we want to approach, reading our goal statement, have our vision board up, we're visualizing where we want to be. We say our goal statement every day. When we talk to people, repeating our goal statement, not the whole thing, but like kind of like a vision of where we're headed because people want to follow people that are going somewhere. And so as we pull all of these items together, we're adding names, we're meeting people while we're out, and then, of course, we're, we're doing trial size marketing. That's it. One, of, one of the best tools we have in our toolbox, right, Lee? Absolutely. I mean, you guys, like, they're so beautifully done. We've got it all right there for you. And I, I mean, we've done a lot of segments on that, but I carry them around with me because you never know who you're going to run into. And those are names that you can add to your possibilities list, even when you give them a trial size marketing sample. Absolutely. So here's the most important thing you got to be asking yourself in the 10 hours a week that we're investing into our business mm -hmm. is everything we've shared with you so far duplicatable. Can you do it? Could your neighbor next door do it? Could grandma or grandpa do this with us and have some fun with us as we're developing the right skill sets and developing the right habits? So some of this was mental. Some of this was mental and physical. And then we move into some more what we call result producing activities. As we get into, we need to be exposing the business system every single week. We need to identify other people that want to be business owners. No different than if you were the one who decided you were going to start Subway Sandwiches. The owner of Subway came up with a great idea of to move subs and came up with the system and then people bought into that system. Well, it didn't just happen through osmosis. It was like he marketed to successful people to say, hey, you may want to invest in my franchise. Well, it's the same thing with the unfranchise, right? So we're going to identify people that are ambitiously seeking a better quality of life, or we can offer them something right now. In the next, and that's super important to know what you're offering there. And then we're going to conduct trial runs. And notice it says trial run. It does not say trial walk. We, we are in the, in the business of moving people through a process with some urgency because when we go quickly with people, then we can get them paid faster, whether they're a customer and referring us to other customers and making that incentivized, or as they lead us to customers and the business becomes super awesome for somebody to say, whoa, maybe this business system makes sense. Right, Lee? Absolutely. And I hope that, you know, for those of you that like to fill this in every week are using this tracking form, because sometimes you get at the end of the week and you're like, you got to look, think back to what you did, right? Because sometimes it just becomes automatic. So make sure you track because you'd be surprised. You're probably doing a little bit more than you maybe thought you were if you weren't tracking it. That's right. That's right. We're going to attend uh, or conduct at least one in-person event or online event. And I'm going to suggest that you shoot for one in-person and one online. Two, two a week. When, when Trinity and I were first building this thing, Lee, we had a goal to be out of our house two nights per week. That was the goal back then. Of course, this was before this whole internet thing, but that's what we did. So today, even if you were saying, I'm for sure going to be out one night a week and the other night I, I could be at the house, I could be doing a shop live. I could be doing something that's gaining customers. Now, if you're gaining customers, leveraging shop live, awesome. If you're not, then you need to be out two nights a week. It's one or, you know, you got to be, a lot of people get nervous, Lee, when people talk about sales or people go, you know, it, you know, we're not, we're not selling, you know, we're, we're just sharing and sharing is caring. And we, you know, we have all these acronyms to make people feel great about, you know, not pressuring people, you know, it's like, what is sales to you? You know, and, and a lot of people say, well, is there some salesperson that was like rude or like pushy or whatever. And it's really not sales. It was just like a pushy person. You know, that's not what right, we do. Right. Would you oh, agree with that? I, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's totally huge because I think it's okay to say, what do you do for a living? I'm like, well, I'm in sales, you know, because I, I sell people on finding what it is that they're looking for. So it's like, whatever people are looking for, I'm just going to learn about people. I'm going to listen. And as I'm listening, I'm going to learn and I'm going to love on people. If you do the three L's, man, like you're going to be locked and loaded, but it starts with also 
listening to people. A lot of people are like, uh, I, got, I can't even listen to what they're saying, Lee. I just got to focus on what I'm, I need to talk to them about. And <laughs> right. that's sales. That's, that's the bad salesperson. Let's, let's call it that, right? It's just like, I just want to sell you what I got. Whereas what we do is we match products to people. Okay, we listen to what they're looking for. And then we say, okay, now I'm going to direct traffic based on what they're looking for, right? Absolutely. And I think, it, you know, have fun while doing it. I'm finding that people want a reason to get out right now. People are tired of being at home. So now is the time to schedule those fun events. And you can be so creative with it too. Um, we have so many different resources and things out there for you all to Get out your calendars because if it's in your calendar, you're going to make it happen. If it's not in your calendar, it's probably not going to happen and another week's going to go by. So get your calendar out and just book those in. And I love what you said that, Colin, because, you know, even if you just go through and just block some nights out in your calendar and then figure out what events you're going to do later, that's more than what you were doing before, likely. So you can, you can figure it out later and it doesn't take long to invite people into those events either. That's right. And the other thing I'll mention too on this is make no mistake about it. We sell products and one of our favorite products is the management performance compensation plan, which is the additional income. It's a supplemental income. You know, people are looking for time flexibility and financial flexibility. Those are two obvious things that everybody's looking for. You just got to figure which one, which, which one the person you're meeting with, what are they looking for the most as a person? You know, like people have a lot of, a lot of time and no money in many cases, or they have a lot of money, but they don't have no time, right? So we just got to sort through people and make sure that we're, you know, meeting them where they're at and where their interest level may lie. And then we're off to the races. So just know you can go into your unfranchised back office. When you get an unfranchised.com, we're going to click on my organization reports, and then you're going to click on management to get to the screen that we're at. And as you can see on, on your unfranchised, as you navigate things, that's where it shows you step by step. So like one, two, three, four, we're under management. And then as we're under management, what are you going to click on? You're going to click on master ufo program and from there it's going to exactly show you what the system is auto tracking for us and then there's going to be some items that we have to manually track and one thing i love about this lee again anytime i don't i don't have to think about things so much then that's a great situation to be in we want you to know that the most important things you need to be doing is surveying people using the quizzes Gain and traction with the uh, uh, the uh, trial size marketing packets, making customers, sharing the business, and bringing on partners and attending training and getting everybody to come with you. That is the result producing activities because the system tracks everything else for us. And we just had to print off that form we were just showing you. Just make some notes on there and then add it in, and then you're off to the races, right? Absolutely. And a lot of you already could have already <laughs> completed a few things on this quarter's uh, Master Unfranchise Owner Report. So, I mean, go through it and check. You can all take the shopping annuity assessment already yesterday. If you haven't done it yesterday, to do it tonight after this, after this webinar is over and just get that done. Don't wait till last minute to do some of these things. The other thing I'll point out to you guys is we just started the quarter. That's what's so amazing about how we're coaching people through this is we just started October. So you're, we're in October to December. So if you have the mindset that I will complete the action uh, plan that you know we're discussing here tonight, then you're going to expect that your income and your business is going to be on the rise. And, and it's a mindset of saying, I will get it done versus becoming the person who says, well, I may get overwhelmed by everything that I have to do. Ultimately, just know the system is tracking what you're doing to where you don't have to be like on the BV. Let's just go there. I, I'm kind of jumping around here, but you got BV. It's going to track how much BV that you're yep. using. What are you, what are you doing? How, how are you doing when you're using the product? How are you doing selling the product? And how are we doing with BV? And how are we doing with IBV? And it adds it up. And then if you want to see what orders are adding up to it, you're just going to click on those boxes and it'll open up bigger and it'll show you all the orders that credit towards it. But that's all about just getting out and talking to some people and getting that ball rolling, just like any other traditional business owner needs to do. Like if you go buy a Subway sandwich shop again and you don't sell any subs this week, um, you're not going to be very happy. 
and you're not gonna be able to pay the bills, see? And you have to treat your unfranchised just like that, right, Lee? Absolutely. And it even turns green and says yes when you have completed a task as well. So, you know, if you're in a hurry, you can kind of look through it and, and see. I actually save it on my dashboard too. So when I first log into unfranchised.com, it shows up at the top. So if my eye is on it every time I log in, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit easier to measure, monitor, and adjust there as well. And then, of course, the next task is personally sponsor one qualified UFO per quarter, which, you know, if you're doing those daily tasks and those daily steps, you know, that all adds up, especially if you're exposing the business and having people evaluate weighted on a weekly basis, that's bound to happen. And sometimes what happens is when you put it in motion the quarter before, it starts to happen, you know, the next quarter as well. And that free shipping is really nice. It really adds up. So it's a, it's a nice perk that you get for hitting master unfranchised owner. And then, of course, completing your new unfranchised owner training and your basic five every quarter. Um, you know, again, like plan that out. Look at your schedule now. Go on the GMTSS and see who has one coming up. Don't wait till the end when you do everything else and you got to get that in. And then, of course, completing your ECCT once per year. Um, in fact, I just took mine last quarter with Bonnie Philo. So there's a lot of trainers out there that you can, you know, take your ECCT from. Purchase three tickets to the next major event. Who has their tickets already? Because I know that there aren't many tickets left for leadership school. So you want to make sure you do that. And by the way, once you buy them, if you buy them from unfranchise.com, like Colin said, it will just show up in the report. They know that you bought them based on your unfranchised owner ID. So you don't even need to put that information in there. And then earn $900 in commissions. Or if you haven't, just complete the basic five diagnostic um, test. And then you can achieve that one too. I love all these arrows and <laughs> all this red stuff all over. <laughs> it's helpful when you're going through it, right? You know, I learned it from JR. It's how I always showed the plan. Aww. Like, you know, by the time you get done showing it on the piece of paper, nobody can read the piece of paper. I would do it just like JR Lee. I would like write it all out and it would Aww. be like, literally you couldn't read it. And then I would literally, I take it and I hand it to him and I say, okay, here you go. So we set the follow-up. They bought a ticket, Love sold them it. a product. Those were my checkbox. And I would, I would slide the piece of paper. i go, okay, here you go. Between now and Thursday, study that. And then I'd walk away and Trinity would be like, you couldn't read it. And I was like, I know, just like JR taught us, like you, they yeah. don't remember it all anyways. And they're like, this is a scribbled love mess. It. I have no idea, but see, you're it. passionate. You're excited about where you're headed. They don't people, we, none of us, me included, Lee included, none of us know all the details. Dennis didn't know all the details when right. he followed JR back in the day, but he followed his passion. He knew he was going somewhere without passion. him. So he said, okay, man, I trust you. Let's make it love happen. It. Right. Love it. Absolutely. And then so when you reach master unfranchise owner, um, sorry, I was, but all IBV from your orders after reaching the IBV criteria will roll over to the next quarter's master UFO criteria, provided that you met all of the criteria. So that's really nice because when you hit it one quarter, any excess will roll over and then you're already getting started for the next quarter. So you're kind of already ahead of the game, which is really nice that that is an option now. That's it. And as you complete the Master UFO program, you will, uh, you will receive an additional reward. So not only we have the free shipping that comes, okay, which is awesome. So that's one piece of it. So that's the and right there. So we got the free shipping that's going to be coming, but also you, you receive a second placement, which means right now as, a, as a, a, an unfranchised owner, automatically everybody gets one placement per quarter. Some of you personally sponsored down in the organization, wherever they're at, you pick one and we place volume down into them. Okay. But if you want a second one, you want one on your left, one on your right, then all you got to do is complete the master UFO. Why? Because this is a reward for those of us, which means you, who's building your business and being an active member of growing this unfranchised system and helping people get paid. This is all about helping people get paid, folks. But we have to lead by example, which means all of us need to go first. 
And if we go first, then we should expect other people to follow us. You know, there was a gentleman that stood up at the, the seminar we had this past weekend in Tampa. Uh, his name's Greg. And, and Greg said, I always ask myself every day, he's a successful in franchise. He says, I ask myself every day when I was growing this business, and even today, would I follow me today? Would I be, when am I doing okay. the things that other people would look at me and say, man, I, I want to follow this guy. Mm -hmm. Or am I skipping steps? Am I, am I trying to take shortcuts and thinking I should get to the top of the staircase, yeah. all right? Get to the top of the business system and, and helping people by taking a shortcut. And I, I love that statement because that always been one of my favorite litmus tests too. You know, sometimes we got to take the hard look in the mirror, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So there we go. The placement can come in there. And you guys are probably reading that as I was going on. So you're going to track also how many mm -hmm. in your business have also achieved Master UFO. So the system is going to track it all. And not only are you going to be able to track who's hitting it on each side of your business, but also there's a report that shows you who's close to hitting it. Yeah. So as you're coming into the end, isn't that an awesome new one, Lee? We can kind of see who's that. getting close and make sure we reach out to those folks and work collectively exactly. with them to make sure that they can hit it. What an yeah. incredible report that is. I, awesome. love, I love that because you can reach out, like you said, and say like, what can we do to just get you to the finish line? You know, especially if you have a couple of weeks yet, there's a lot you can do and it's so much easier to do it together, right? So you reach out to them, they would probably love that. Don't expect them always to reach out to you. You got to reach out to them too and, and let them know that you are here to help them. And I love that point too, because it's, it's a delicate balance. You know, a lot of people are used to looking at uh, uh, businesses or jobs they've had and look at the hierarchy of the business. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times higher ups in the business, supervisors, managers, it's like, I'm going to tell people what to do. And I'm going to call them and say, this is what you must do. And as entrepreneurs, that really doesn't work because we're all in business for ourselves. And of course we know we're not by ourselves. Yeah. But at the same token, so we're reaching out to people, like Lee said, to find out what are their goals? What is their reason why? I want to help you get to those things. And so we really want to inspire people into the action that they're taking. And in some cases, as we know, uh, the you know, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear magically all of a sudden for that person that maybe hasn't been totally on track, but they know the system's been here the whole time. But if we come in guns blazing, telling you, you must do this, you must do that, that person will quit your business. I don't care how great you think you are. They don't need another job. And as you are always taught us, this business has to be fun. So are you inspiring people into action by leading them, by you showing them the way? But then also as they're following you, are you passing the baton to them for them to start becoming the leader? Because that's what true leaders are. Le leaders create more leaders, right? Lee? Absolutely. And I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to duplicate, right? So just think that everything you're doing and you kind of alluded it, to it earlier, you know, are, is, is what you're doing, is that what you want people you're working with to do, right? Because you have to also be careful with duplication sometimes. You want it to duplicate correctly. So absolutely love that point. There we go. So let's talk about the five things UFOs must do on a weekly basis. And again, this is all about the success habits. So starting with, starting with number one, use the evaluation approach and secure at least two presentations a week where we can meet with people. And I have to tell you, Lee, one of my favorite ways to do this is as I'm reaching out to people with the tools we have today, and I just want like a 30 minute meeting with them. So want to get together with them, buy, buy them a cup of coffee, buy them a beer, whatever we got to do uh, to get together. And I'm going to get together. And as we get together, I'm, I'm using two main tools on the business side of this. And that is the, the uh, digital uh, marketing comparison video. And then, of course, the unfranchised marketing app. Those two tools. One video is like three and a half minutes. The other one's like two and a half minutes. So like in six minutes. I can let that show the plan. So I can really talk to somebody for a while, get to know them, to see what's going on leading up to, it's like, you know, hey, what did you want to talk to me about? Oh yeah, yeah, all right, let me show you a couple of things. And I show them those two things. And in six minutes, and in six, what would have taken me 45 minutes to explain all of this, it wraps it into a pretty bow. But now the only question is, is where am I headed? 
Am I selling them on the mission and vision of where me and the team and Team Market America is headed? That's what they're buying, by the way. The videos are like the content of like, well, that all sounds great, but do I trust you, Cullen? Do I think you can help me? And so those are my top two tools. What, what, what do you like, Lee? Absolutely. And I think it is just like getting to know someone, especially if you don't really know them that well, because they are trusting you and buying you as well. So I love that as well. I just like to actually show them the first part of the plan when we get to that point. And then if it's time to move on, of course, you can definitely do that. But you can usually feel too if it's if they're ready for that or not. Um, of course, I do talk to a lot of people about motives. So I love the motives overview as well, because it just kind of goes over the line. And especially if they are a beauty professional like me, um, they can kind of see the bigger picture and the vision. So it does depend like who I'm talking to and what tools I do use. Um, but those are probably my two favorite things that I use most of the time. Love it. And what would you say to the men out there that are thinking right now? Yeah. Okay. But it's the cosmetic. What we need somebody to hang, like head up the motives or oh, part of our business. So how would they approach that person and get them to evaluate it? Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, there's actually a lot of men in the beauty industry as well. Well, not just women. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> but yeah, but ab absolutely. I mean, the motives overview is is great for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like you would to evaluate anything. Like, hey, I know this may or may not be for you, but you may know the right person. So mm. let's sit down and chat a little bit. That's all go. I, you know, that's all I say. Simple, right? Simple. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple for sure. There you go. All right. So number two is we must be a product of the product. we got to use all the products. And so we're ramping up. Maybe you came in with aloe and OPC3, or maybe you came in with, you know, one of the motives, you know, palettes or a custom blend, or maybe it was TLS weight loss, you know, whatever it was awesome. And maybe that is your specialty and you're cranking it and you're making sales and you're helping people. That's awesome. And then we go, I need to start adding more products on as I'm running out of things, you know? And so then therefore we are going to convert our spending into earning and ramp up our BV and our IBV. And so that's a simple step in Absolutely. order to make I that mean, happen. The more, the more that you use, the more that you're going to be able to share and, and talk about. So it's super important. And I think you kind of hit it on the head. It can be as you run out of things. I love the hum the home shopping list for that fact where you can just check everything off that you use in your house and then make a mental note like okay well i've got that laundry detergent right now but i'm going to switch over to ours when we run out or whatever it is and you'd be surprised once you add all of that up in fact one time i went all around my house and grabbed all the products that we use on a daily basis put them all on my kitchen you know island and I took a picture. I was amazed at how many products I use because I don't think there's a product we have that I haven't used. Right. That's awesome. And I have to tell you, one of my newest, my newest Those are awesome. Products. Oh I my gosh. Them. These things. Okay. So both of them. All right. The, the, yeah. the red, red cider vinegar and the biotin. These gummies. Yeah. Oh my gosh, man. And these are like going like hotcakes. If you haven't tried them. And I have to tell you my hair and my mm -hmm. nails, it was already doing pretty good with isotonics, but when well, I had in this biotin since yeah. convention, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, man, like, I got through my nails. I like them like, too when I need something more. a little sweet. I just pop, you know, two of those in my mouth and, and they're awesome. And, and yeah, I mean, every time we've launched new products, you guys like order them and try them because people are going to ask you about them. And that way you can give them an honest opinion and be truthful on what you've noticed. And um, my mom is hooked on those apple cider vinegar. She used to actually drink apple cider vinegar. And now oh she's like, gosh. okay, I have to admit what? these are much better than actually drinking it. And it's better for your teeth and whatnot, but oh, absolutely. I, I can just imagine your mom and she'd be like drinking it. And then she's like, come here, give me a hug. And you're like, ma, get away. I'm like, you here, serious? take these now. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Mom, you need a breath mint. Okay, so here we go. Now we're flowing into getting two prospects. So bottom line is we secured the appointment and now we're nailing it down and making sure we're showing the business. That is the MPCP, okay? 
MPCP part of the business, uh, which is the money. People got to see the money. They got to see the vertical because they think it's horizontal, folks. You got to show the vertical. You got 365 day accrual placing the volume down 100%. It's unbelievable. And now we're going to sell tickets. We have to sell tickets and move people forward. From the very first time I meet with people, Lee, I am trying to move a ticket on that very first appointment. And it might not always happen on the first one, but the seed's been planted. And I'm going to continue to follow up. And in many cases, it is just a product. It's a survey product. It's a sample product, whatever we're doing. But I'm still mentioning it. Hey, we got a training coming up. I can't wait for you to meet Lee Rader. She's absolutely amazing. And I edify it that it's the best thing in the world because our trainings are you guys. All of you know this. And if you're new to the business and you haven't been to a training yet, once you get to a training, be like, wow, why don't I have like five more people at this training? Because they would see what you see, right? Absolutely. And you know, the fact that we have like an open training system too is, is really awesome because it's such valuable information that you can use in your life, not just in our business, but to make your life better. And, and I love that you also said, you know, samples, because that's also one of my favorite things to, you know, give to a prospect when I sit down with them is whatever sample they're interested in, or even trying to get them to purchase a product that they're interested in. But there's always something to plug them into, whether it's an unfranchised business presentation, your next local seminar, we've actually got our district seminar coming up here in my area. Um, You know, of course, there's general product trainings, there's always something to plug them into. That's it. That's it. And then number five, we're going to measure, monitor, control and adjust, you know, and we're going to identify what's working what's not working. And we're going to look in the mirror. We're going to take some ownership on what we're doing great and what we're not doing so great. And we're going to tweak what we're not doing so great. And it's that simple, folks. We're focused on the basic five. It's as simple as that. So the homework assignment for the week is to make sure that you're dialed in with your goal statement. What's your why? What's your purpose? And then printing off the action plan to hit master UFO and start checking the boxes off. And then the last but not least, make sure you're teamed up with somebody. Don't do this business alone. Even if the person who sponsored you, if they're not as aggressive as you, that's okay. Love on them. Everybody's got a different action plan. Okay. we got to love people where they're at, but then identify somebody who is go now, somebody who is taking it to the top. If you want to go faster, but we all work with everybody, no matter where you're at in the organization, no matter whose team you guys are on. And so just make sure you partner up two, three people join the 53 challenge and get connected there. If you're not sure exactly how to do all that, just get with somebody who invited you on tonight and they'll help you through that process very simply. Um, But the bottom line is you got to take action. The only way you're going to take action is to make sure that you got your why and your goal statement dialed in and your mission and vision is on point. And that's what's going to take you to the top. Anything else as we close it out, Lee, other than announcing what we're doing next week? Yeah, no, this was this was great being with you all. And thank you for those chatting and commenting and love seeing that. There we go. So here we go. We just wrapped up week number one right here. Got that one off our list. And then next week is all about building your possibility list. You will want to be here next Wednesday night, 8 p.m. sharp and work. We're going to work. It's like a workshop going to dig in and identify some people to approach and teach you exactly how to approach them and make that happen. Take your business to the next level, you guys. So Thanks for joining us here tonight, you guys. And by the way, one last tip for everybody. If you are doing something on a Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, that is a result producing activity, meaning you're going to meet somebody to show show the business or talk about products or whatever it might be, go do that. That is always your priority number one, which is why we do these, but we record them. So you can always catch the recording usually about a week later on our YouTube channel with Market America. But if you're not locked in on that, then you're always welcome to tune in to us live on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. All right, so make sure you guys go out and do something positive for your business each and every day. Yes, have a good night, everyone. Bye.